G'day and welcome to my garage. Once I got the um, central groove parted out, the, um, I'm now bringing it out to a um, six millimetre width, going a little bit easier. Okay, let's see where we're at. I can't remember. The throat is six millimetres and we're at five. I don't think I'm quite down. No, there's still a step there. So just a little bit further. All the way until the tool bottoms out. Um, that's right. I do have a start on the other side. Can't quite see it. There we go. I say that was supposed to be five mil. Mm, five and a half. Yep, five and a half. That's it. All right, let me uh, set up for um, doing the 15 degree or 30 degree included angle uh, V. That looks good. All right, I'll bring you back. Just need to uh, clean some of this mess up. I don't like it's on the floor. I don't like standing on the um, the shavings. I drag it all through the house. And on the one. That's got a Uh, 
Okay, I've got the uh, compound uh, set at um, 15 degrees. It's over the top of the cross, uh, cross slide screw handle. So um, I can't move that, but I, uh, I only need to move the carriage and um, uh, in the X direction and need to move the cross slide in the Y direction for the 15 degrees. It's, there's a little bit of play in the um, cross slide because I'm not fully on. <clears throat> I'm not fully on the um, um, <laughs> I've lost. I've lost it, dear. I haven't got full engagement of the uh, the base of the. Oh, I'll have to do a voiceover on that. I've totally forgotten what it's called. Anyhow. Let's uh, get started. bit more to go. Right, I think I am there. Yep, now I've got a Set the cross light over to the other 15 degrees and um, cut the right hand side. Alright, bring you back. <coughs> okay, we're all set up. Uh, yes, you're on. Let's see if we can get you a bit closer. See if it'll stay in focus. Now again, this um, cross slide is a long way, a long way out. It's not fully engaged with the um, with the base and the gib, so we just gently, gently work our way in. Little, little bit less gentle than that. Probably couldn't see the lines, but the mach machining marks they had. But um, I'm out to those. Where's my belt? Just sits proud a little bit. It sits nicely in the groove. You can't see that, but it sits nicely in the groove. Doesn't bottom out on the on the throat. So uh, that was supposed to be half inch, 12.7, and we've got uh, about 14 actually, no no, reading from the wrong one, so what, yeah we've got about 12 and a half, a little bit under 13 there, so that'll be, I can't see the half still too small for me. That's it. Uh, just going to turn the, the hub down now to about 42-43mm 
bore it, drill it, bore it, and then when all that's done, this uh, piece that's in the chuck, I've got to get rid of that, turn that off, that'll be a lot of mess. Um, yeah, I won't bother trying to cut it off. One, I can't cut it off in this position, so I'd have to flip it around. Then it'll be sticking out here. This this machine doesn't like, um, although this is the first success I've had with the um, uh, cut-off blade. Um, geez, I'm losing it all today in terms. Anyhow, it doesn't like, and if I come further out, it's even going to vibrate a lot more. And it's a painful job, be quicker just to machine that off. Alright, I'll set up so I can um, I'll put a slight taper on this hub, bring it down to about 43mm and slightly taper it. Okay, bring it back. Okay, quarter inch to 6 6mm six pilot. And now 14 mil should be 14. Actually, I can go bigger because we're going out to 20 on this. Um, I'll go to the 14. All right, let's knock on the low gear. Okay, let's punch through. I'll set up for a boring bar, but I might have. I'll check the shaft size. I'm, um, I'm pretty sure this is 20 mil, so I can take it out with another drill. But I'll go and check all that before we do this. That. So the uh, the shaft is um, uh, three quarter or uh, 19 millimeters. I'm just taking it out. 19 now. That's terrible. What a horrible noise. Okay. Where are we at? It's 19. I'll just take a couple of thou because I know it. I know this uh, is, isn't quite square. That's a job for the milling machine. Point oh four. It's a little bit better. Nineteen point. Well, um, 19.14. Uh, I suppose I should take it out now because it's. Uh, well, I 
to see if it fits the fits the shaft. Eighteen point nine two. So there is a taper. Yeah, eighteen point nine two. But it's that probably won't. I have to probably have to uh, hone it out like I did with the six inch. That. I'm at the, uh, not that you can see where I'm at on the mill, but I'm at the mill. Fits. Just got to machine the back back of that off now. It's a forty thou cut. Um, just reducing the back end of the two inch. Um, this is the, uh, the side I was holding in the chuck. It's a fair bit to, to uh, turn off but the machine off. the six inch and the um, two inch. Beautiful. Beautiful pulley. So both of them need to be uh, drilled and tapped. All right. Just milling a um, just milling a flat on here so I can um, drill and tap a set screw. Bit of play in that uh, temporary bed.
I was actually just feeding too fast and I was beating the cutter. Because there is some there is some play in the uh, in the screw. Well it's in the clearance of the handle to the uh, screw support, that's where the problem is. There we go. There we go, we've got a nice flat. Yeah, I can use that. Could have brought the head a little bit further down, but the head's getting at the bottom of its uh, travel now. Something I'll have to watch out for, may have to uh, stack this up a bit high, use longer, longer bolts. But um, for what I need, that's, that's done a beautiful job. Now I've got to do something on the 6 inch pulley. The, um, the spindle head is down as, as far as it can go and it's the centre of the spindle to the table. That difference is 21 millimetres we'll say. So, I want to drill and tap um, I need to drill and tap, tap this for a set screw Problem is I can't get it as low as I'd like I'd like to, I'd like to go another 2-3 um, uh, millimetres lower But I can't because of the heads won't go any further. So 21 millimetres, centre of the spindle to the um, table, work table. Uh, and this is the temporary work table. The permanent work table is uh, another 10 millimetres higher, I think. I think these are 12 mil. And I think the 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 bed, the bed and I think the permanent work table casting is about 25 mil, so probably another 12, 13 millimetres uh, higher, which would give a lot a lot smaller gap here. So at the present moment, I need to space it up. So I have a collar. And I can now do the job. Um, okay, I now want to draw and tap the uh, set screw hole. So we'll just find the edge. So I know the hub's 45, the drill's 6.8, add those together, divide by 2, it's got to come over 25.9. I've um, already set my calipers, I'm measuring between the carriage and the uh, uh, support screw bracket for the work table. I've already done the, the measurements. Set the caliper. Doesn't have to be uh, down to the, the thou. Okay. 
Okay, that should be the centre. We'll just eyeball that. Pretty good. Now, I'll we'll, 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 we'll eyeball the height that I want after I unlock the spindle head and drop it down to drop it down to where I want. That yeah, looks pretty good. That's it. Lock the spindle head. And... Set the tap up and we're on, we're on a slower speed, it's been oiled up. Let's tap away. Um, where is it? Interesting. Try that again. Engage the belt drive and try that again. <laughs> Just won't hold that the collet chuck just won't hold the thing. Oh well. I'll have to do it by hand. No, it worked on the other one. Um, thought I'd give you a final run through. I now have high and low range. After making those two pulleys, okay. So this is the second stage. The primary the first stage is uh, inch and three quarters to eight inch, if I remember. Then we have the four, four stage, two four stage pulleys opposing each other for um, uh, four more speeds. And then on the side over here we have a 2 to 6 inch uh, pulley for low range and a 6 to 2 inch pulley for high range. So we are currently belt changing this. Very simple. Well, so that's high range. Calculated it out, but I think it was about 1750 RPM, something like that. So that was high range, high range. 
Gingery's made changing the speeds on this incredibly simple. Um, whether the belts have got enough drive for this low range or not, um, I don't know, but I'll, I'll find out. But yeah, the, uh, the machine is up and running from low, low to high, high. I think the low, low was about 80, 85, and the high, high was uh, 1750. Two more speeds in between, so four speeds all up, or eight speeds all up, that's what so four, four speeds on the cones and uh, two speed on the final drive. So there, there we go. It's already done some milling, you've seen that. Uh, it did the V on the, um, that'll be interesting to do now, the V on the you know, six inch pulley. If I had another six inch pulley, it'd be nice to see what it machines like at that size in the high speed. Because I only had the low, low speed or the highest speed in low range. Uh, I can't remember the speed of that now, it's about 200 or 186 or something, I can't remember. I'll calculate it out like But um, there we have it. And it runs very smoothly. On the far side, you can see the six top of the six inch uh, pulley on that one. Lighting is not right for that. It works. Okay, I just dropped the head down. About a millimetre. One turn of the crank. Lock the head. Back again.